Hello, the Young Turks. I'm Ricky Bobnani, and today we are going to explore the deep web. DYD Nation. The year was 1994. The screeching sound of information sluggishly channeled through our 9.6K modem. It was a playground for smut peddlers, the illegal arms trade, softwares, drugs, and other illegal activities. And all of this could be accessed through regular websites. But where did it all go? Most users these days only browse what is known as the surface web or visible web. That's 1% of the internet. The rest is known as the hidden web or the deep web. So what exactly is the deep web? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I have never heard of the deep web. I do not know what the deep web is. No, I do not know what the deep web is. If you want to find illegal stuff, you would probably just Google it and see what comes up on the web. It seems no one really knows how to access the deep web. I'm going to need help with this. I'm going to put an ad now on Craigslist to find one, and hopefully we can get further in our exploration of the deep. All right, okay. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Okay, that right there was a hacker who went by the name of John. He's willing to show us the deep web, but he said that he does not want to be on camera. This hidden web is accessible through special proxies, browsers, computers, depending on how deep you want to go in the web. There's levels, as he puts it. Levels 0 through 2 are websites most internet users are familiar with and have easy access to. Level 3 and onward now is when the internet starts getting exciting. You will need to set proxies, meaning that you will need to be using an intermediary computer to filter the results. Most of this is child porn, so be careful. Unless you're in New York where it's legal to view child porn online now. Just not download it. Not that I would. I'm just saying. John also mentioned a special browser that is required. The special browser that he speaks of is known as TOR. The browser prevents somebody watching your internet connection from learning the sites you visit and it prevents the sites you visit from learning your physical location. It's able to protect you like this by bouncing your communications around a distributed network of relays run by volunteers all around the world, as stated on their website. The URL of these websites are not the kinds that we're normally used to. They're actually called onion links, and they look a little something like this. You will probably want to bookmark them. There's rules to follow when exploring the deep. Rules such as don't click on anything if it sounds illegal. One popular website known as the Silk Road is for illegal trade, anything from child porn to hiring a hitman. So how does one pay for this anonymously? With bitcoins, an anonymous way of purchasing services or goods online without being tracked. Bitcoins are transferred person to person via net without going through a bank or central clearinghouse. This means that the fees are much lower, you can use them in any country, your accounts are not frozen, and there's not any prerequisites or arbitrary limits. If you would like to know more about my journey into the deep web, please follow me on Twitter and uh, thank you. DYD Nation.